Hypersensitivity, allergic reaction. What is this and what can you do about it? So you've probably heard of uh, peanut allergies or an allergy to mango or to pollen or whatever the case is. So if someone has a sensitivity to something, so for instance, I sometimes get hay fever or I'm allergic to cats. When I go near cats, my eyes can water, my nose can run, my throat gets sore, all of these reactions. But they're very controlled and they're very much in one place, my, my face and my nose and my mouth. But when someone has an anaphylactic reaction, it means that the whole body is affected by whatever's happened. So if someone is allergic to bees and they get stung by a bee, they'll have an anaphylactic reaction, which means that the whole body, so a, multi, a multi-system issue, so you'll see rashes on the chest. So if you get stung by a bee and someone is allergic to it and they're gonna have anaphylaxis, they will have difficulty breathing, they'll have rashes, they'll suddenly feel faint, they might fall unconscious. This is a multi-organ or a multi-system um, effect and that's how you know it's an anaphylactic reaction. They will also know that they are allergic to it because it doesn't happen on the first time you get stung by a bee, it happens on the second and third time because on the first time the body gets um, the body gets used to the bee sting chemical and it produces antibodies and then what happens is that the second time it happens the body overreacts to what's happening and that's what's causing the problem. So what can you do for people who are having an anaphylactic reaction? Well, the only thing you probably can do is an EpiPen. So it's a pen-like object and you take off the caps at the bottom and the top and you push it into the leg and you hold it in the leg. So into the thigh, you just push and hold. It sticks out a really big long needle and it injects about 0.3 to 0.5 milligrams of adrenaline into the muscle. So as paramedics, that's exactly what we do when we get to you. If you're having an anaphylactic reaction, we will inject 0.5 or 0.3 milligrams of adrenaline into your thigh, into the muscle, because the muscle has lots of blood supply and that helps. It's very effective. It works very, very well. And that is pretty much all you're able to do. If you don't have that, remember, it's always hazards, hello, help. If they are breathing and you can see that they're having an anaphylactic reaction or some sort of allergic reaction, there'll, there'll be rashes on their chest, they will be struggling with breathing, they'll be, feel, they'll be feeling faint or they'll be falling unconscious. Remember that if they're not breathing um, and there's no signs of life, uh, it's going to be difficult to tell if it is an anaphylactic reaction, but what you can and should do is you should do CPR. If you haven't watched my video on CPR, I'll put a link up to it at the top here and you can go through that. The other thing with a anaphylactic reaction is that people often carry an EpiPen with them. So you don't need to carry a pen yourself. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that at all. And I'd also recommend that you just check with your government's laws and regulations about what first aiders can or can't do. Um, remember that this is not me giving you permission to do what you want. This is just me trying to educate them. If any of you suffer from an anaphylactic reaction from whatever it is, I'd love you to drop a comment at the bottom. If you, maybe you're allergic to peanuts or you have something um, unfamiliar that you are allergic to, like I've had patients who are allergic to mango. Um, you also get like egg and um, lots of um, seafoods and that sort of thing. And Joe, remember that there's a quiz at the bottom and if you have, yeah, and if you would like to leave a comment or hit the like button and subscribe, that would be really helpful to me and we'll see you in the next video.